bet she'd feel bad. No. I want you to have good stuff. Okay, I'll get some. Did you get it? No. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Um, thank you, the Madam Minister and the officials. Um, I'm here representing uh, Samad Sewa of Fiji USA. And it's mostly uh, helping underprivileged children. We've been doing this for the last um, about eight years. But uh, this time, I was giving this privilege to come and visit these, this facility and uh, see if we can help. Um, I've always wanted to help seniors because um, all of you are the... We, we appreciate the work that you're doing. However, we are still in the process of um, ensuring that the level of care and service that is rendered uh, within these institutions is, is uh, moved to a, to a high level. And we will continue to work with you to ensure that uh, we work towards providing the best um, care that can be given to... And unfortunately, this is not for me. Um, <laughs> So we will hand you all that, and uh, I think uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I'll have them choose your colors. Hey, choose your colors. Right? Red. Thank you. So okay, she wants red. So I'll give her red. She gets her red. She gets her red. Right? That's your. That's your red. Pink. 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 Which one? Which one? Let me come. Blue. Okay. 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 Blue. Right. He wants one of these. Pink. You take two. Right. Which one? It's it's indeed welcoming when we have. Uh, the stakeholder support out there, uh, NGOs, civil societies, faith-based organizations, because uh, they basically work with us and complement the work that we do. And um, for the ministry, this is a priority, the care of our elderly in the homes. And uh, we are making um, uh, break, uh, breakways in, um, I mean, b with uh, with some, some stakeholders in ensuring that we um, upscale the level of care that is and uh, of course there is a board that is uh, uh, looking after these institutions but we need a more public uh, partnership to come in and assist us to provide an enabling environment to our senior citizens. I mean on this note I would just like to urge the public uh, uh, not, to, uh, not to use this as a place to discard things that they don't use, you know. We are really appreciated, uh, appreciative of the fact when uh, the elderly are given genuine care and support and, not, uh, and homes not being used as, uh, as dumping grounds for probably clothes and other stuff that we don't use in our home. So, so far um, the support has been uh, uh, pretty good and uh, we look forward for more stakeholder support in future. And of course plans are underway to ensure that the services delivered at the ministry is at a standard. Uh, we are working with the, um, the National Council of for Disabled, uh, sorry, National Council of Older Persons to develop uh, minimum standards of operations to be followed at, at all times. But all in all, I mean, I would like to say again, I mean, these elderly should be kept at home. When we come here, we hear stories of how their properties have been snatched, their income have been um, snatched and how the children don't want them to be uh, within the homes. So uh, again, a simple plea, a humble plea to those families not to treat our elderly as, as burdens, you know. Uh, these are our parents, our grandparents and they deserve to be supported in this, um, this ageing process. Thank you. Don't <laughs> Um, my name is Parma Sharma and I'm the uh, founder of uh, Samatsa of Fiji USA and um, I've been coming to Fiji for the last eight years uh, helping uh, underprivileged kids with uh, backpacks, um, uniform and shoes. Uh, we have, I met with the, um, the Honorable Minister um, Rosie Akbar and um, we, um, she did request to us that uh, if there was any way that we can uh, help um, 
organizations like this, like a senior um, aging home, and uh, get some uh, bed sheets and stuff. So um, we were able to, and uh, I'm blessed that uh, we were able to. I have some donors back home in US, and they decided to yes, donate some bed sheets and of course money and everything, where we can uh, help um, the seniors here. And uh, very nice to see. It's a good facility. And um, I really appreciate what the government is doing for facilities like this. It's, it's really nice. And um, we will try as a uh, overseas NGO, um, non-profit organizations, uh, we will try to help um, places like this, seniors and children, so that um, we want to see our country go forward. Eh? It's a very good thing to see um, the country is going forward. And, um, and we always... We are out of Fiji, but Fiji is not out of us, so. Thank you. Maybe we just uh, uh, would like to encourage other local NGOs and also other families or even business houses to make contributions. Yes, I, I, I think that uh, all the businesses here, if they just take a percent of their net profit, I think if they can contribute towards the um, organizations <laughs> like this, it will help a lot. You know, we don't ask too much, whatever they can, but just a percentage of whatever they make that will really, really make a big difference in everyone's life. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.